Every year we've done the Build Your Bucket event, we've seen the attendance it basically doubles or triples every year. Uh, this year's plan was to, for 800 buckets. Our very first year uh, was just over 100 buckets given away. So we've seen tremendous uh, uh, attendance from our community. One of the things we did this year to improve the experience was to make our Build Your Bucket more of an expo style event. They're getting information, information on how to respond and who they can call and how to contact people during an emergency. They're getting items like flashlights, batteries, first aid kits, uh, hand sanitizer, towels, water, things that you would need after an emergency to, in order to maintain uh, your existence at such time as we can get additional services to you. This is just building the idea, getting people in the mindset of being prepared. And it gives an opportunity for different agencies, social agencies to come out and educate people and provide information and so forth. And it's just giving people the tools that they will need in order to be resilient during an emergency. I thought it was an excellent idea that the city and the county are working together because at the end of the day we all have to work together for the safety of all of our citizens. Actually I never thought about getting a bucket, you know, I put everything in like plastic bags and things like that, but I never thought to get a bucket, but I think that's an even excellent idea because a bucket at the end of the day, a bucket can float better than a plastic bag. As public servants, our mission is to uh, provide for the uh, betterment of our community. And through the Build Your Bucket uh, event, it's an opportunity for Leon County government and our partners to provide a, a little uh, something to improve the preparedness for the citizens that participated today. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who came out to this year's Build Your Bucket event. Uh, we hope to see you next year.